after 30 some odd years, how does it feel to have your baby back? Um, a, a little odd, because it is 34 years old, and um, I was quite worried about it, because it had a reputation, and people were constantly asking me about it. And I thought, being a, a film of that era, it might be better to remain in people's memories than when they see it and go, oh, is that what I remember? Um, and it took over itself. And the neg got found by Fluke in Los Angeles, and they, they called me and said, we have all these negs from London here, we gotta get them out, and they tracked me down. So, and at the same time, I got a call from these preservationists who said, we want to restore your film. And I thought, you know what, the universe is telling me something here. What was that conversation like and what was your first reaction when they told you that they found the negatives? But it was literally a few days before Christmas, so I was, I was shocked. Because he, he said, are you Roger Christian? And I said, yes. He said, did you make a film called Black Angel? And I said, yes. And he said, did you make it with Company Painted Lady? And I said, yes. He said, I've got your negative. And, uh, you know, Fox have been searching for two or three years, Lucasfilm's been searching. My print got thrown out while I was in darkest Romania. So um, I said to the guy, wow, this is probably the best Christmas present I've ever had. <laughs> what would you like film goers to get out of uh, Dark Angel? Well, it's, it's um, when I made it, I re it's a myth. So, and I was very fascinated with a huge filmmaker called um, Andre Tarkovsky at the time, and he made his films for the subconscious, not the conscious. So I did this consciously. And what happened in Scotland, because we took it to four cinemas in Scotland, and so many people, five, eight years old, came and said, this film's stuck in my head, you don't understand. So I thought, oh, maybe what I was trying to do at the time worked. What you're basically telling me is that tonight when I go to sleep, I'm going to be dreaming of a dark angel. I hope so, yeah. Because <laughs> some kid said, you gave me nightmares. And I said, oh, well, uh, sorry about that. But in a way, it was intentional because, it's again, it's the good against dark against light. That's why Lucas chose it, because there was the same theme underneath. And lastly, I just want to know, um, with J.J. Abrams taking the helm of the new Star Wars project, I was wondering, as a fan of the whole Star Wars world, and you worked on the Star Wars dynasty that we have now, what are some of your concerns? As long as he, um, Lucas's talent is to make a ride on the surface that kids and everybody can go to, and but underneath, it's very classic mythology, it's fairy stories that are very important to um, children growing up. And as long as they respect that side of it, it's not just a ride, I think they'll endure. And it's in pretty safe hands with J.J. Abrahams. He's pretty good at this stuff. So, And he has gone back to the original ways. He's shooting on film. He's not shooting digitally because he wanted that original first film look. And they're building sets and things and props, trying to emulate what we did on the first one by using scrap and other things. So he's being quite um, reverent to the very first film. So what do you have working on at this moment? A film company in London saw everything going on, had a meeting with me and asked if I would develop the original Black Angel as a, as a dark epic with them to shoot in Scotland. So I said, okay, so I've been, I had to go back on all my uh, original notes and I've had to change it because it's 34 years later, but I'm working on that now. We're gonna do a um, crowdfunding campaign so that it keeps that same kind of down and dirty, low budget feel. Hi, this is Roger Christian, director, writer of Black Angel, and you're watching Comics Asylum.